What we're going to demonstrate now is putting light tape around the corner of a plinth or some sort of cupboard exhibition stand or whatever. What you've got on light tape is a metal ribbon and we coat that with a phosphor so that when we actually put a current through the metal ribbon the phosphors vibrate that creates the light. Now the metal ribbon is very very thin uh, in total including the encapsulation you're about 0.6 of a millimetre in thickness so if you crease or fold that metal ribbon you can actually damage it so that it doesn't light and you, then you get a dark patch on the front of the actual lamp where the uh, phosphors aren't lighting so to do that we normally have a two to three millimeter bend radius and that's what we're going to show you how to achieve now on quite a sharp corner so what i'm going to do is just measure where i want that to be and then we'll peel off the light tape adhesive on the back of the light tape so I've just peeled off the adhesive on the back of the light tape and we're using a 3M9088 adhesive, just line it up there, just stick that into place. There we go. And then we'll peel these off. Now what I've done is here is as you can see I've left a gap of about 10 millimeters where we're going to actually bend it round the corner and create the three mil bend radius. So we'll stick the one side on and then just create a slight bubble there and stick the other on. Now what we've achieved there is about three to five mil bend radius around the corner without folding the lamp and uh, it won't then crease the lamp and cause it to go dark on the edge on the corner. So that's a light tape fitted to the base of this cupboard to demonstrate what it would look like on a plinth and now we'll just switch that on and uh, there you'll see the light tape lit on the corner. You can actually make that a little bit tighter on the corner as you can see it's starting now to go dark there so if I fold it it's starting now to sort of damage the lamp but that's about the minimum sort of bend radius that you can achieve on a corner. Uh, obviously the same would apply if you're doing it on an internal corner. Keep it to about a three mil bend radius.